Elon Musk, speaking at an Italian conference, warned Europe about the negative impact of what he referred to as the woke mind virus originating from the United States. Musk characterized this mindset as exacerbating divisive identity politics, amplifying problems like racism and sexism while purporting to address them. He stressed that this ideology undermines social unity, leading to animosity and self-deprecation among individuals instead of fostering cohesion. Don't miss what is the woke mind virus according to Elon Musk. How does Elon Musk describe the impact of this virus on societal issues? Why does Musk advise against importing the woke mind virus to Europe? You call it um, the woke mind. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's, your, it's the name you gave. To that, yeah, yeah, that, woke mind that virus. Woke mind virus Elon Musk critiques societal perspectives by examining the exuberant yet divisive aspects of woke ideology. Yeah. So woke mind uh, illness. What's that virus? Yeah, so... so I it's coming to Europe. I have to advise you, huh? Yes, well, this is not something you should import from America. This is not something you should import from America warns against adopting Elon Musk's view of woke ideology, highlighting concerns about the global spread of ideological trends. Please don't import the woke mind virus, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the, the, I mean, essentially, th that, to summarize maybe the woke mind virus, it consists of creating very, very divisive, um, identity politics. Creating very divisive identity politics, Elon Musk regularly expresses his criticism of identity politics, viewing it as the origin of the woke mind virus and emphasizing its impact on social cohesion. So it actually amplifies, woke virus, mind virus in my view, amplifies racism, amplifies, uh, frankly, sexism, and all the isms. It amplifies racism, amplifies, frankly, sexism, all the isms the wake mind virus intensifies issues related to race and gender, serving as a critique of the waked ideology. This exacerbates social tensions, contributing to a heightened atmosphere of discord. And wh while claiming to do the opposite, it, it actually divides people and makes them uh, sort of hate each other. Claiming to do the opposite, it actually divides people and makes them hate each other. Elon Musk diverges from conventional views on awakening and mind viruses, challenging established goals by endorsing principles of discord, harmony, and shared identity as opposed to a singular focus on unity. And it makes people hate themselves. Makes people hate themselves, Elon Musk expresses concern about the negative impact of woke ideologies, referring to them as mental viruses. He highlights the potential psychological consequences for individuals and the risk of fostering sympathetic self-awareness within ideological movements. Elon Musk recently addressed Europe, warning about the dangerous spread of the woke mind virus from America. Musk highlighted its potential to deepen identity-based divisions, magnify prejudices like racism and sexism, and foster hostility, contradicting its professed goal of unity. His urgent plea to Europe was a strong call to reject this divisive ideology and pursue an alternative path. Importing ideologies like the woke mind virus into diverse cultural settings brings about profound implications. It disrupts social harmony and impacts individual mental well-being. Elon Musk has sounded alarms about the divisive nature of this very virus, highlighting its potential to fracture societies by fueling identity-based politics. This invasive ideology doesn't just influence self-awareness and group identity. It corrodes self-esteem, a sense of belonging, and interpersonal relationships within larger social circles. Understanding the clash between perceived progressive ideals and the unintended fallout of the woke mind virus is crucial. These ideologies claim inclusivity but inadvertently breed division, creating internal psychological conflicts. Various cultures face these ideological threats and stress the importance of critically assessing beliefs to sidestep unintentional rifts. The influence of ideologies like the woke mind virus ripples through trust, cooperation, and unity among individuals and communities, casting a shadow on their cohesion. What do you think? Elon Musk, in a recent speech, emphasized the critical importance of free speech. He stressed that the true value of free speech lies in its ability to allow individuals with diverse opinions to express themselves, including those with dissenting views.
Musk warned against censorship, stating that suppressing those with differing opinions could ultimately harm even those who support censorship. Don't miss what is the fundamental significance of free speech according to Musk's perspective. How does Musk correlate the preservation of civilization with individual motives, including financial gains? What caution does Musk offer about censorship and its potential impact on societal freedom? Very important. A person here couldn't speak for a lot of people because they were considered mavericks and worse than that. Free speech for everybody is important, not just for the person who say the right things. It's it, correct. Exactly. No, no exactly. The, the free speech means that the free, free speech is only relevant. Free speech is only meaningful when, if, if you allow people you don't like to say things you don't like. So... That's how you know it's working. Yeah, that's how you know it's working. Free speech means that if you allow people you don't like to say things you don't like. That's how you know it's working Elon Musk advocates for the universal application of free speech, regardless of differing opinions. He passionately supports the conservative ideal of preserving individual freedom and highlights the critical need to encourage open discourse. Um, because it, 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 as, it, once you start to censor uh, people you don't like saying things you don't like. It's only a matter of time before that censorship turns on you. Because once you start to censor people you don't like, saying things you don't like, it's only a matter of time before that censorship turns on you. Elon Musk issues a warning on the potential consequences of censorship, emphasizing the delicate nature of restrictions on expression. He asserts that protecting freedom of expression is not only necessary, but also crucial for maintaining a diverse array of perspectives. Eventually, you know, you live by the sword, die by the sword. Live by censorship, die by censorship. Live by censorship, die by censorship. Elon Musk strongly asserts that censorship, by restricting expression, undermines the core principles of a free and open society. Eh, Giovanni, ho ancora cinque minuti? Come funziona? No. Due minuti. Vabbè, allora ci abbiamo due minuti. Eh, ragazzi, qua per... Eh, che ragazzi. cosa? Tutti fategli un applauso a Elon, dai facciamogli altri paio di minuti, eh. Elon, why? Allora, you spoke about uh, free speech. You bought Twitter for the free speech. Due minuti, dai, due minuti, eh. Just for the free speech, not for the business inside. You bought... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tweet. Well, I, I mean, here's the thing. So, um... You know, I think you have to say, like, if civilization is not strong, if civilization doesn't grow, um, then nothing else matters. If civilization is not strong, if civilization doesn't grow, then nothing else matters. Elon Musk emphasizes the critical importance of a strong and evolving society that values the solidity and stability of its social structures. You know, profits don't matter if civilization collapses. There's, there's no profits, there's no, you know, you, you, we, we are not, we, we cannot exist absent civilization. So sometimes maybe people may say like, well, is this an altruistic thing? I mean, I think it's, for me, it feels altruistic, but even if it's, even if one is not altruistic, even if one is very uh, self-centered, um, you have to say, if you simply think long term, you have to be pro-civilization because you cannot exist without civilization. But even if one is very self-centered, you have to say, if you simply think long-term, you have to be pro-civilization. Elon Musk emphasizes the lasting importance of endorsing civilization and promoting social welfare, urging individuals, even those driven by self-interest, to recognize the impact on the well-being of future generations. <laughs> how, how important from zero to ten in the scale from zero to ten money you are the richest person in the world how is important money for you from zero to ten Elon Musk emphasizes the crucial role of protecting free speech and conversations emphasizing that its true value lies in allowing everyone including dissenting voices to freely share their opinions he cautions against the consequences of censorship stating that when censorship targets disapproved voices, it sets a perilous precedent that could eventually impact even those supporting such restriction. Musk underscores the importance of preserving free expression in society 
for the maintenance of a healthy and flourishing civilization. Elon Musk's influence on freedom of expression and its ramifications in a democratic society, encompassing individual autonomy, the limitations on expression and the societal impact, remains a multifaceted inquiry. The interplay between psychological apprehensions surrounding censorship, the repercussions of suppressing diverse opinions, and the impact on dissenting voices within society loom large as freedom of expression constricts. Delving into Musk's psychological impetus behind assuming control of Twitter and his steadfast commitment to safeguarding free speech warrants, scrutiny regarding his decision-making ethos, overarching worldview, and self-awareness, Understanding Musk's perception of wealth's significance in societal constructs, the psychological facets of personal identity and values, as well as the perceived correlation between individual wealth and its role in his personal and societal evolution, holds pivotal importance. Examining how Musk's far-sighted psychological paradigms and pro-civilization stances reconcile with ego-driven motives and how individuals rationalize their actions within the broader societal framework forms a crucial contemplation. The psychological undercurrents that drive individuals' rationale within the societal landscape and the ensuing apprehensions or anxieties regarding social disintegration constitute an integral aspect. Elon Musk's perspective on the psychological dichotomy between altruism and selfishness, deciphering the interplay between selfless intentions and egocentric motivations, adds depth to this intricate tapestry. What do you think? Renowned entrepreneur Elon Musk recently discussed the profound significance of free speech in a comprehensive interview. Musk stressed that the essence of free speech lies in enabling individuals, including those with differing opinions, to express themselves. This article explores Musk's insightful perspectives on the subject, elucidating the consequences of censorship and the pivotal role of free speech in safeguarding the foundations of civilization. Don't miss what is Elon Musk's viewpoint on Disney's association with the woke mind virus. How does Elon Musk relate Walt Disney's original vision to the current state of Disney? What aspects of Disney's current situation concern Elon Musk the most? If we're going to fight the woke mind virus, then the woke, woke mind virus will fight back. If we're going to fight the woke mind virus, then the woke mind virus will fight back the emergence of woke ideologies, portraying them as formidable challengers to the established bedrock of traditional values and principles within woke culture. And unfortunately, Disney is deeply infected with the, the woke mind virus. In fact, if you ask an AI what is the most woke company on earth, it's Disney. Disney is deeply infected with the woke mind virus. If you ask an AI, what is the most woke company on earth? Its Disney examines critiques directed at the perceived extensive influence of woke culture in various institutions. The goal is to illuminate Elon Musk's depiction of Disney, emphasizing the significant impact of woke ideology on the company. <laughs> you know? But, and, and you have to say, what would, I mean, I think they should be asking themselves, what would Walt Disney think of Disney today? I think he's turning in his grave. <laughs> I think he's not happy. Sure, sure. You know, if, if the namesake of the company is not happy, that's probably a bad sign. What would Walt Disney think of Disney today? I think he's turning in his grave. If the namesake of the company is not happy, that's probably a bad sign the essence of Disney today may deviate from Walt Disney's initial vision. But the company remains dedicated to upholding its long-standing traditional value. You know, because Walt Disney, what did he care about? He cared about bringing joy to people's lives. He poured, you know, um, ma making wonderful things that children and families could enjoy. Walt Disney cared about bringing joy to people's lives, making wonderful things that children and families could enjoy. Elon Musk's portrayal challenges the sentimental appeal and questions the fundamental appeal and questions the fundamental ideals of family-friendly entertainment, marking a departure from Walt Disney's initial vision. Um, and, uh, you know, he, was, he, he created some of the, the coolest, um, uh, you know, art in the world and stuff that even a hundred years after it's created, we still yeah. remember it. And, and still, it's still a major thing. But you have to say how great was Walt Disney. It was amazing. Um, but now, uh, D Disney, at least for now, is deeply infected with the uh, work mind virus. I think that will, you know, that will change. Over yeah, oh, I hope so. Elon Musk criticized Disney for being immersed in what he termed the woke mind virus, 
questioning how Walt Disney, renowned for spreading joy and creating family-friendly content, would perceive the company's current trajectory. Musk highlighted a departure from Disney's historical values, expressing doubt about its present practices aligning with its founder's original vision. His comments implied a divergence between Disney's current cultural stance and the principles upheld by Walt Disney, suggesting a potential need for the company to realign with its foundational values. How Disney's evolving ideologies impact public perception and audience engagement, reshaping storytelling and character portrayal to deepen emotional connections with Disney's audience. The delicate balance between corporate ethos and artistic authenticity, exploring the psychological toll of societal expectations and corporate values on the creative process and the artists within Disney. Elon Musk draws parallels between Disney's present condition and the vision of its founders, highlighting the psychological reverberations on corporate identity and values, and the potential clash between historical legacy and contemporary ideologies. It's imperative for the public to attune to issues like consumer behavior towards Disney, fostering brand loyalty, and understanding the psychological underpinnings steering audience support or critique. Musk's optimistic stance and vision for transformative shifts within Disney significantly influence the organizational culture and the mindset of employees and stakeholders. But there's a pressing need for prudent judgment in reconciling tradition and innovation within corporations like Disney as these conflicts could pose significant challenges for employees and the company's identity, often entangled in archaic beliefs after excluding certain values and capacities. In a powerhouse like Disney, the discrepancy between corporate ideology and actual employee experiences could amount to creative fraud, stifling individual expression, and perpetuating a lack of diversity, fostering a toxic workplace culture that takes a toll on the company's essence. What do you think? I promote myself and my videos. Hello, I'm Bong Sim, a Canadian resident of Asian descent. During the day, I work as a professional counselor, and at night, I do Uber food delivery. Instead of speaking in my videos, I prefer to express myself through writing. In today's world, speaking the truth can have serious consequences, both for my professional life and personal well-being. That's why I'm choosing to pen down my thoughts and using a platform to share them on my behalf. Some people find my videos uninteresting, too strict, and they even criticize the appearance of the individuals featured, including their tiredness, Asian, or perceived flaws. I understand these concerns, but I genuinely believe in the purpose behind creating these videos. Unfortunately, recent Canadian legislation has resulted in the censorship of free speech and online content, and although Google hasn't explicitly admitted their involvement, I suspect they play a part in it. Despite my efforts to monetize my content on YouTube, I haven't been able to earn any income from it. I've tried three times, and all my attempts were rejected. They turned me down for reasons like lacking creativity, not having a recognizable face, or not having a distinct voice. Nevertheless, I've made several adjustments to my videos, hoping to overcome these challenges. If you share my belief and support what I'm doing, I would genuinely appreciate your backing.